Let me see if I can find a really good breakdown of this. Normally I find the, the individual CVEs from Google, so. <laughs> Uh, let me see, CVE resources, okay. So yeah, CVEs are good for, for actual vulnerabilities. And then there's, like I said, different branches of cybersecurity. So each branch has its own like group of resources. Government has CISA. Everybody in the government goes to CISA site and they have the most recent APTs, advanced persistent threats most recent vulnerabilities, all that kind of stuff. What's what the government's doing, like what where we should be focusing our energy, like what really good resource. And CVEs, this is like a huge database of all the places you wanna go for, for vulnerabilities. I'm still looking for the actual database of the actual vulnerabilities. I'm on Google right now typing in CVE. A specific one would be iOS. CVE for I iOS. They have a vulnerability database that has every single vulnerability you could think of. So this one's for iOS 15.6. This is going straight to Apple's site for 15.6, a recent kernel update and WebKit update that they have. And it's for CVE 2022-32893. You might be familiar with this one, but I'm gonna type that one into Google. And it goes straight to the CVE site that I was just on. And then it'll have a breakdown of how it affects other things. So this is one of the best resources we were using a lot and almost every place I've gone to, we use the same thing. Private sector and public sector uses this one. Now, if you're in the Department of Defense, see, it really depends on where you're at, but Department of Defense's best resources is called DISA, D-I-S-A, DISA.mil, okay. The DISA mil website has some of the best resources as far as how to fix your system. They have the STIGs, Security Technical Implementation Guides, one of the best resources on the internet. Even private sector uses it. That's how good it is. But DISA is a really good, resource for Department of Defense and actual federal government. And it's so good, recently it's gotten so good that even the private sector start using the STIGs. Here it is right here, here's the news. They're always releasing different stuff that's related to Department of Defense mostly, but their STIGs are incredible. Their training is ridiculous. I mean, it's one of the best resources. It really depends on what branch and what area of cybersecurity that you're going in, but I hope that answers your question, D-Truth. Um, specifically what area, if you tell me like what area of cybersecurity you're in, we can find like a really good resource for it.